It is Sunday, July 8th, 2018, 1.45 p.m., 27 degrees outside, feels like 30. It's pretty warm outside, which is nice, it's a lot, huh? Yeah, it tastes a little bit warmer than yesterday. It was still pretty warm around this time yesterday, but <clears throat> yeah, so yesterday, uh, like I said, I was really tired when I got home, so we didn't really do much. We just kind of sat down and watched Seinfeld for a bit, but the day went awesome. So I uh, picked her up at around nine, gave her her presents, and I was super nervous about it, but the little like crystal thing, um, <laughs> She liked, uh, she said that she did like those and she and she was legitimately surprised that I remembered that, so that was nice. Um, she loved the evil eye thing. Uh, she really was excited about that. And then the Vans hoodie, she literally, it was it was the perfect reaction. She was just like, no way. Shut up, no way. So it was awesome. That's, that's always the kind of reaction you'd love to get for a birthday present. So she loved it. She literally wore that sweater the entire time we were at the Science Center. Um, pretty much all day. I think the only time she took it off was like When we were inside schnitzel queen. I think that's the only time she took it off um, And she had a different sweater she was gonna wear that day, but she decided to wear that one instead so she Loved it and it fit perfectly. So that's great. Don't have to return it or anything She totally loved it. and uh, I showed her with the other sweater that I was like thinking of getting the one where there was like the new logo and stuff that I saw inside the stores <laughs> She's like no, I hate that so uh, it's a good thing. I did not get that but anyway got her the sweater she loved it and uh yeah, she loved her gifts, so we headed out towards Toronto, and um, uh, we, she she was convinced that you were either going to Niagara Falls or Center Island, um, and it wasn't until about 15 minutes before we got there where she was like, because she used to live around the area, so she's like, this is the way to Science Center, I know, and she starts seeing signs at the Science Center, so yeah, we're going to the Science Center, and then uh, literally like the last time before we got there, she's like, can you just tell me? I was like, yeah, we're going to the Science Center. So uh, that one was pretty well kept uh, overall. Um, the Science Center was pretty cool. The The thing is though, it, it definitely is like a kid's place because um, there was a lot of kids and it was so annoying sometimes because they would be screaming or just being obnoxious kids in general. So that was a little tough. We ended up going, we got there at like 10.30 I think and we ended up skipping to the third floor just so we could avoid the initial rush of all the kids and kind of not have to deal with so many. But uh, yeah, there was, ugh, it was just really annoying uh, at times. We went inside of the planetarium where it shows you the stars and stuff and like kids were crying, people were talking, the guy that was doing it like as professionally as he could was like really kind of passive aggressive with people. Um, this one like older chick was a complete bitch to him like he like he asked him what the name of a he asked the group what the name of one of the constellations is and he said she said the Latin phrase and he said no and he said he said whatever the actual English thing for it was. And the girl's like, yeah, that's blah, blah, blah in Latin. Is your Latin a little rusty? And he's like, no, well, I, was, I wanted to get the English name first and then say the Latin name. And I was like, seriously? Like, what the hell's wrong with you people? So that was really annoying. Um, but that was pretty cool overall. It kind of hurt my neck. And it was like church pews we were sitting on, so that was annoying. But um, yeah, the space stuff was really cool. There was like a, a, a moon rock. There was a rock from Mars. A lot of information about space. There's lots of the human body human body there was like a little arcade that wasn't really that fun but it was like kind of a couple of games you could play and stuff um we skipped the first floor actually all, all after after everything because i just told about oil and stuff and neither of us really cared and we we're kind of tired at that point so we didn't really bother with it um and yeah so overall that, that was fun i would say um i don't know if i'd go back um probably not uh, that was like a really cool exhibit but overall i'd say it was a fun so it was like Three third or yeah, three thirty or something like that. Where when we decided to go, um, and she, like I said yesterday, she knew that it was Schnitzel Queen from the start, and uh, she had eaten a large lunch that she had anticipated. So she was like, "Can you just tell me? Because like maybe I'll just I'll try to make some room for it or something." Um, and I told her Schnitzel Queen, and she was very happy. But uh, she got the Schnitzel with the sauerkraut. She ate half of it and then saved the rest for later. I ate all of mine. And I don't know. I, I guess I just don't like Schnitzel in general. It was okay. It was edible, but it just wasn't. Like when I had schnitzel, like when I had a bite of the schnitzel just by itself because it was sticking out, oh, it was nasty. So um, I didn't like it. So um, wouldn't go back. Edible, but meh. I hate uh, caramelized onions, caramelized onions, whatever. And there was a lot of them on there, so that was annoying. I kept picking those off. And I hate when places give you lettuce that is like, so if this is so if this is the size of the burger, this is the size of the lettuce, and it's all the way around. And like to get a bite, you have to put like half the lettuce in your mouth first. It's like. Can you just give me enough lettuce to fit on the actual bun or whatever? So that was annoying. Um, I got the parking spot at Staples. Um, there was like no one there. There was like literally five cars in that parking spot. So there was plenty of room, which was nice. Oh, it was awesome. 
we ended up walking up the wrong side of the road, so uh, we had to kind of take a little bit, detour, little bit of a detour to get there. But we got there, I uh, got back, and then uh, Carl wanted to hang out a little bit more in Toronto, but we didn't really know what to do. Um, and when I told her we we're going to, because the game, she's like, well, I don't know if I should reach something to do here, or if the, the next thing is going to be something that takes a lot of time, can you just tell me? So I told her, uh, and she was very impressed. She's like, that's a really good idea. I like that a lot because she likes to go walk around with stores with me, and she loves going to the van store, which she went to. That's the first place we went to. She bought two new vans, um, one of which I kind of liked, like a purple sparkly type, which I think looked nice. Um, so those have like flowers on them. Uh, so there's up to like 11, I think now, uh, we counted. Plus that van's hoodie, so uh, sponsorship incoming. And uh, yeah, so we did that. Uh, we walked around to a whole, like some other stores. We were looking. I was kind of my my Vans knockoffs have a hole in them, so I'm probably not gonna wear them very often. I might throw them out. So I'm wearing the black shoes with the white soles, but I don't really like them that much either. Like I don't know, not really that great. So I was looking at shoes, and there wasn't really anything. I kind of wanted something like for 15 or 20 bucks, but there wasn't anything in the Vans store. I was interested in getting the, uh, some Adidas, but wasn't really finding anyone ch anything cheap. But yeah, I would love to get like an Adidas sweater or like a t-shirt. Like, I don't know why, I love Adidas. I love that brand for some reason, that logo, ugh. I love it. So the way she is with Vans, I am with Adidas. I like Vans too, so I don't know. But um, yeah, so we were there until 7.30, 8 o'clock maybe, something like that. Um, and luckily on the way there, there was a giant pile of like, like, to, like there was some sort of crash or something. And then on the left side, there was, we drove about a minute and a half or two minutes and there was just traffic the entire, like, standstill traffic. We were driving, like, 120. So, luckily, that cleared up by the time we left. But, uh, I went to EB Games, too. There was this, uh, one of the managers, I guess, there. She just, basically, Carla had mentioned how their pop wall is a lot more organized um, than the one in, uh, the one nearby. So, she, like, this lady heard it, and she's like, it's not organized? And Carla's like, no, 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 I, it is organized. So, we usually go to is, like, it's, like, six rows, and it's hard to tell where's what, because, like, they're, they're not even categorized or anything. It's just random pops. And she literally talked to us for like 15, 20 minutes and like both me and Carla later were like, holy crap, she really likes to talk. And like we couldn't get her to go away. Like we were like, oh cool, I could try to end the conversation. Didn't stop her. So she was very talkative. It got very annoying very quick. Didn't really have any cool pops. Um, I was looking for some like Morgan Riley or something, but uh, more so I was kind of looking kind of to expand my musical collection. They didn't really have, surprisingly, didn't have much. They had Bieber, Elton John, and uh, Lars from Metallica, I think. So that was weird, but... Um, because I think all the other EB games I've been to had a lot more than that. So, anyway, that's what we did. Came home, like I said, hung out for a bit, watched Seinfeld, and uh, yeah, that was it. So, overall, a really good day. I'm, I'm, I'm super glad she had a really good day. Um, and I, I also had a really good day. Like I said yesterday, it was, it was one of those memories that I'm going to look back on in the future. I'm sure it's going to be something that's a happy memory for me. So, I'm really happy that, that, that I have that. Um, and also, I wore my Seinfeld Nirvana shirt, um, which... Uh, I was just so happy about to wear and I saw there was at least two guys that I'm pretty sure Like I, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure those two guys who I think I thought I heard them say Seinfeld shirt um, Or Nirvana shirt or something like that. Um, one guy was passing me on the street and one guy was in the mall. So um, I feel like a couple of people at least noticed but today I actually went to do groceries and There was one dude who was eyeballing the hell out of me so I'm pretty sure he didn't say anything, but he was just looking at me. So I'm pretty sure he was checking out my shirt. Um, and there was another guy who passed me and he said, as he walked by, he's like, I like your shirt. And we both, I said, thank you. And we laughed it off. Um, and then I went to uh, another store to get some deodorants and have it at the grocery store. So while I was in line, there was a guy with his girlfriend and I, I saw the guy kind of go like that and look at me for a second. And then a couple seconds later, his girlfriend did that thing where she like, she turns around and like look kind of in the distance, but really what she's doing is looking at me. So it's just like, like that, and I kind of swore I heard them say something about it, so always, I like that kind of stuff, it's cool, um, but I, I do wish I knew what they thought, like if they just thought it was a funny shirt, or like, oh look at this idiot wearing a, doesn't even know what Nirvana is, or whatever, so, uh, but that's, yeah, that's what uh, happened today. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go do some job searches, and then probably play video games the rest of the day. Um, tomorrow we're going to hang out with Carla again, I'm going to hang out with Carla again, I don't know I say we. Um, gonna hang out with Carly again. It is her actual birthday tomorrow, so I don't really know. I don't really know what we're gonna do. I might buy her some flowers, like a cupcake or something, uh, when I go over. Um, and we'll just kind of play it day by day from there. But anyway, that is what's going on today and yesterday, and I will most likely see you in the future. See ya.